Welcome back to Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, welcome back to the, this is going to be Scorpios. So I would like to thank all of my subscribers that have been with me. I appreciate you guys' support. If you're new here and you find that any of these stories resonate, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I definitely appreciate that. And it also gives feedback for the channel. Um, I have pre-shuffled already for Scorpio. We're going to start off with this deck and then we're going to clarify with the uh, Egyptian tarot deck. Okay. So Scorpio, this could be in any aspect in your chart or with someone you're dealing with. So the first card that we got, Scorpio, is the Six of Wands. Then we have the Eight of Wands. Hopefully you can see that. The Moon card. The Queen of Discs. Wow, this is so pretty. The Magician. And then the Six of Swords. Okay. Alright. I see that, Scorpio, you definitely went through some type of change. I feel like maybe um, you had to go through a battle. It, it felt like you were going to battle. I feel like you felt like you were definitely in some type of battle and now you have won. Oops. You're celebrating. You know what I'm saying? You got the victory and you're moving forward in victory. So now that you have won and I feel like it was a battle within yourself, it looks like now you're wanting to bring this news to whoever whoever it is that you feel that's important to you you feel that is a part of your your group but I feel like there's something that you don't know about with the moon card right here something that has been hidden from you or something that you haven't found out about yet we got the queen of discs right here with the queen of discs it could be an earth sign virgo capricorn or taurus that you're dealing with if not this is a maybe a mother or a wife someone who is financially stable and <clears throat> we got the magician right here it might actually be a magician connected to this queen of discs or she might be a magician or you might be a magician but with the seven of uh, swords, there's a lot of like um, lies going on. So I feel like there's illusions and some stuff that you're not aware of because you've been away. But you are coming back home with a victory from some of some sort. Let's see. Okay, what's the six of wands? swords mm. yeah maybe this is what happened you were in prison and lock, locked up or maybe you just got out um, maybe you went through a court system and you were f f released from that I feel like this might still be going on in your mind too though like even though you might physically be out you might still be kind of like it's almost like I, I can hear someone saying like wow I just went through something that was you know it was a lot of work but I succeeded let's see anything else hmm. there was more that wanted to come out but I'm just gonna take these okay two of Pentacles. 
the Knight of Wands in reverse. King of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay. So, Scorpio, you learned, you learned that, you know, just being very flighty and not really putting too much thought into where you put your passions caused you to be in the, you know, the confinement that you were in. But now it looks like you're letting that energy go. So that's good. And now you're ready to walk in clarity and truth. Um, remember, we did see the seven of swords here with the lies and stuff. So I don't know if that was someone in your path in your past that was surrounding you or if it was you that was very um deceiving but it looks like right now scorpio either you or someone else is trying to come with the truth now that they possibly went through awakening seven of Pen seven of pentacles you know this is like just really taking a look at everything that you've done and the investments that you've made the people that you've worked with, all that. Just deciding what's what do you need to keep, what do you need to get rid of. Kind of just like separating the wheat from the chaff. <laughs> the chaff. I didn't say that word right. <laughs> okay. The Eight of Pentacles. Definitely have been putting in a lot of work, I feel like. After, I, that was probably one of the things that you said to yourself. When I get out of here, I'm going to put in a lot of work. So I can see that. But there's something going on juggling your mind, and this might be connected to this moon card. But let's see what the Eight of Wands is. Is there another? Okay. Six of Pentacles. Yeah give and take okay <clears throat> here we got the star card we got the um, ace of swords We got the Knave of Chalice. We got the Six of, Ch I mean Five of Chalice. I wanted to say Six because it's connected. And then the Sun card reverse. <clears throat> so with the Six of Wands, with your celebration, you are coming into your, you're coming into your stardom, becoming yourself independent loving yourself treating yourself well you might become a star in the future you feel like it you definitely feel like you're the star of the show right now you feel like it doesn't matter what it is that you find out about this moon you you stand in your own truth in your own clarity and you know you you notice that this person was giving you a little to nothing when it came to the emotion part like maybe this person might have been the reason why you got locked up maybe this was what caused you know all this regret and remorse but I feel like you're coming out of that you know what I'm saying you real you're seeing that this did not give you happiness this did not balance you out this was not fulfilling so now you're fulfilling yourself <clears throat> What's up with the moon? That's a lot of cards. Ugh. Nine of chalice. Okay, so that's the wish fulfillment. Uh oh. We got the five of wands. The devil card. Ten of chalice. Six of Swords, the 
King of Swords, the Eight of Swords came out, and then the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of air energy. You might be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, fire, too. It could be a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, earth signs. You got, we got earth. We got a little bit of everybody right here. So it could be anybody, but there's... What's, what is being hidden from you is all this competition and things that's going on behind your back so there's like people that possibly are trying to compete with you they they want to take your they want to take your spot let's put it like that they don't like that you're this, these people are toxic they don't they don't like that you're freed that you're away from this situation and that you're coming through victoriously too on top of that so they want you to be bound once you be bound to them or bound to the system, bound to tradition, they don't like that you're trying to break free. This could be people in your family. This could be actually be people that you love that are doing this to you or making you feel this type of way. They're not very supportive. You know, this is what you would expect to get support from these, these people, but you're not getting that. So... Now you're leaving the conflict and confusion and even after, you know, you probably went back home thinking that, you know, you would have love and now you see like these people just want to keep you trapped. They, they're they very toxic. They don't want you to be free. I'm feeling like this might be your energy or you could be dealing, like I said, with a fire sign, but I feel like you got a passion now that you're ready to go forward with. You're ready to pursue pursue your passions, pursue what it is that you desire. It's time to come out of this because it's like a projection. I feel like these people, this devil energy, they're projecting this onto you. This is why it happened. This is why you ended up getting locked up or conflicted in your mind because these people were around you giving you this energy. So now that you're leaving with the Six of Swords, it's going to clear up, but this is going to cause these people to have anxiety now because you're giving it back to them and the truth on top of it. So they're <clears throat> getting back the energy that they gave you, plus they're being hit with the truth, which is cause causing them to have anxiety. But it's time for you to get your wish fulfillment. What's this Queen of, Child or Queen of Dis? See that right? <laughs> oh, six of pentacles. Okay, this might be your partner. Let's see though. All right, this is supposed to be upright. The Empress card. The Queen of Discs. Empress, of course. The Strength card. Queen of Wands, Hermit card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Lover's card, and the Knave of Pentacles. Okay, so this Queen of Discs, sorry if I shook the, the camera. some room here okay so the, this queen of this is an empress your empress maybe it's your wife maybe it's someone you want to make your wife maybe someone you want to have a family with okay this person whoever this queen of this is that's an empress they're taming the, the beast within them <laughs> So they might be doing something similar to what you're doing. They're kind of balancing themselves out. They're trying to stay in this Empress energy. Oh, goodness. You see? The Queen of Wands. This is, you know, very confident, loving, compassionate type person. They have whatever passion they have, they go after their passion. So whatever it is that this Queen of Dis is 
trying to accomplish she's gonna go after it but I feel like this person that really isn't talking to you they're not talking to no one they're in her hermit so they're staying to their self studying themselves spending time with themselves getting to know themselves and that's why this money is just coming at, at them <laughs> that's why she's the queen of this she's balancing and this is the true love though I feel like this is your true love I feel like this probably is what who you're trying to let know about this victory that you just accomplished and that you just break broke free from or you just woke up and you are excited to share this information with this person yeah I mean I feel like you want to give them possibly a proposal or a ring something like that because you want Ooh, and this is about to show while I was pulling this up. You want to have an even give and take and you want to get out of being left in the cold. Okay. Okay. Let's go. What's the magician? Yeah, look. It's time to manifest yourself out of that, huh? What else is for the magician? Okay, Knave of Wands. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Tower card in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. And the Ten of Swords in reverse. I don't know let me just say if you are still trying to come with like childish energy like even though you I feel like you went through something if you're still trying to come with childish energy to this queen of um, queen of this you need to be very careful because look we got the nine of Pentacles in reverse you could lose money if you're playing with this person I don't know who I'm talking to, so I don't know if this is Scorpio or if this is someone watching for a Scorpio. If it's somebody watching for Scorpio and they're trying to play with a Scorpio, you better be careful because you could lose your independence when it comes to finances. And there's a, a tower moment that could possibly happen. Right now, it hasn't happened yet, but it's a possibility that could happen. And this is what playing with somebody's playing with some some type of magic or they're trying to do something i don't know if this is you scorpio or if it's someone connected to someone you're connected to i feel i'm kind of feeling third party two of wands that's like in in reverse it's like you have made a decision which way you want to go so just be careful because you want to make sure you're going with the right intention but it doesn't look like whoever is coming that way and making a decision, they're not trying to be manipulative or trying to lie. Maybe maybe it's not time, you know. Maybe you need to continue to heal yourself before you approach this person because they're going through their thing. And if you haven't, because I don't really see any, like, strong, powerful, I'm seeing, like, child type of, you know, offers with this and because you're trying to come back from something that ended already. So it's like trying to have a Lazarus. A Lazarus. Okay. The Seven of Swords. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Because that is right there at the end. So and with the Seven of Swords coming out reverse. Let's see. What's, what is the Seven of Swords? Hmm. Three of Chalice. Okay. It is a third person. Yeah. See, I don't know who this other person is that is trying to, like, they're trying to cause some chaos. They're trying to cause confusion. They're trying to manifest something that's not of your highest order. And I feel like this is a person that you're trying to include in your situation. So you're talking to this person. You think that this person is your friend and they really are deceiving you.
first want you to wait. It's not time for you to approach this person because you got to pay attention to your intuition. You got to pay attention to what your higher self is telling you. And with the King of Pentacles, you really need to start working on your money because if this is what you're offering them, you know, a ring, that's nice, but where is your stability at? You know what I'm saying? So don't be conniving or deceitful when it comes to what type of money you got. Don't try to make it look like you got more than what you got because if with this person being the empress, <laughs> she's going to know that you're not the emperor and you're working on it. So be honest about that. Don't lie. Don't try to make it look like you got more than what you got. You know what I'm saying? Or just stay away. Just stay away until you can get your finances and get what you need and get your healing completed before you approach this empress okay so that's it scorpio hope you guys enjoyed this reading again you guys i definitely would appreciate if you like comment and subscribe also share if you think that this video was for someone that you know and they could use it okay but until next time i hope that you have a good rest of your day and i'll talk to you later deuces